Go to the bagel shop next door. Right next door, yep. <laughs> Quick within, little walk and it's cheaper. Within walking distance, there you go. Well, it has been a uh, bit of a wet morning out there for some of us. It's Good thing we didn't, we didn't have to yeah. walk too far. Yeah, yeah, things are still looking kind of gloomy out there. Most of the rain now to the east, but we're going to look for more rain again later this afternoon and evening. Right now, taking a look on our Storm Shield radar, you can see showers up towards Grove, Joplin, pretty much just that eastern portion there of Green Country. Tulsa looking pretty good. Maybe a few showers here and there still kind of lingering. Jinx, Owasso, down towards the pulpit. You're still seeing a couple of these showers. But again, most of that rain is now just to the east, and it'll continue to make its way off east as we head through the next couple of hours. Again, we get a little break uh, here in Tulsa, and then we'll look for that chance for rain to spark back up again this afternoon and tonight as the front passes through. Uh, taking a look at those temps, we're sitting at uh, 62. We have those winds really howling out of the south right now. They're sustained at 20 miles per hour. Temperatures across green country mainly in the 60s right now. There are a couple of upper 50s in some spots. Tahlequah sitting at 59 as well as Bartlesville. And at 62 in Tulsa, we're seeing mid 60s down towards McAllister. As you look at the wind speeds, they are definitely strong out there. Look at some of those sustained wind speeds out west. Enid, you're at 32 miles per hour sustained, not even gusts. Those are sustained winds. Again, it's 20 here at uh, Tulsa. We continue to see some of those gusts up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour at times. This is all ahead of that front that's going to sweep through as we go into tonight. And on our future track, this is what it looks like. Some scattered showers still may linger down towards that southeastern corner there, the state through 130. But again, we'll be looking for um, a break here in Tulsa, not necessarily clearing. We're still going to see uh, the clouds kind of hanging around. And then moving into 3 o'clock, still you're seeing some of those showers down south and southeast. But as we head into the evening, then you see that little line there that starts to form and kind of scoot through the area that should pass over us as we make our way into about 10 p.m. or so. That's the frontal boundary, and this will help to clear all of that rain uh, as we head into the early morning hours then of Wednesday. So as far as severe weather goes, we actually have a marginal risk across parts of green country, a slight risk down to the southeastern corner. Again, this is what we keep talking about is the southeastern corner of the state because they continue to see those showers and storms. Uh, again, wind, hail, those are really be the main threats with these storms as they develop if they do become stronger to severe. Now, as we take a look at the temperatures today, we'll be getting up to about 67 or so, and we're still looking again at those winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Fast forwarding to Thanksgiving, well, we're going to be looking at a chilly start to the day, but then warm and breezy later on that afternoon as temperatures on Thanksgiving climb up to 68 degrees. So looking to be pretty good for us for Thanksgiving there. All right, so taking a look at our seven day forecast, 67 for us today, back behind the front tomorrow. We will have some clouds to start the day and then gradually clearing skies with temperatures about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow. That's some of that cooler air than filtering in. Uh, but with the winds kind of ramping back up for Thanksgiving, those temps will get back up into the upper 60s. And then a dry cool front moves through Thursday night. And so we're in the upper 50s to low 60s for Friday and Saturday. All right. Thank well you very then. Much. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway.